Welcome back to Rasen. Where we are in little French town. Hoping to uh, apprehend the titular character. Lassen. We need to lasso the lastness Lassen and uh, deliver him to the cops. What's this note say? So you have been burgled. Uh, gosh, what a laugh when I was told about it. You've been conned by Lassen and he didn't waste much time doing it. Now I suppose that as angry as you are, you'd like to break him in half to preserve your reputation? Anyway, it's too late. Almost done is done. Your chest is empty. Whew. Slaying this miscreant will not be very useful for you. What is certain is that the men of Delaray will kill him as soon as they can, but I know that recovery is sometimes slower when your pride is injured. As you should know, this town is under the domination of a rich man called Sir Delaray. He is a duplicitous conniver without scruples and no morality. His men will obey all the orders he gives, so beware. He is powerful and even the police are thoroughly loyal to him. To crown it off, he has recently established links with the mechanists to help his business. Avoid his watchdogs if you can, though. Beware of La Seine. He might set you a trap. You have to know he's a resourceful man with a particularly tortuous mind. Delorey's dogs have tried to catch him many times, but have failed. Nevertheless, if you want him, he lives in the inn, the Chasseurs, in the east side of town. Then do what you have to do after that. We'll speak again later. Now I must leave you. I have not enough strength to go on writing. I'd like to rest. Your friend, Emily Victor. Is this... is this... A note to me, or is this a note to La Surie? It's a strange place to leave a message to me, but it's been scrumpled up, scrunched up and thrown out. I think that's where I've been before, but I'm not sure. Oh, this is going to be the Northern District. Right. You know what? Before we go there, there's more of this part of town I want to explore. So that was the so that was the sewers, right? Which stop protect. Yeah, you know what? Let's leave the door unlocked if we've been here. Let's just quickly right near the key again. Uncomplexify our inventory. Now I don't remember where this took me. Oh, this is the big gate. Oh right, so it's we just go around there. Right, 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 right. That's just a convenient way to avoid our archer friend there. Okay. Now. Hmm. Oh, what am I thinking? I'm going to run back through the sewers again, right? Just, uh. It's going to be a little tedious, um, I'm afraid. But, oh, I guess I guess not, because it's not very far. This is where I came into the sewers, right, the first time. It's not actually very far to go. I don't have to run around all those uh, metal pieces and whatnot. <laughs> very weird that you go up to get to the sewers. So we came, so we came up here, and there was more to explore. Mm, let's try to avoid waking him up. Oh, that's... Ladder's making itself awkward. <clears throat> yeah, there's definitely more shops here we haven't seen yet, so... Hello? What's this to say? Sorry, my dear Garrett, I had to give you a description to the security office. I remain anonymous, of course. Now we are more or less even. Understand me, times are so dangerous. My projects cannot be compromised by another who dares disturb me. I will not tolerate that. I have so much work to do, I have no time to waste with you. The police will do what is necessary. And one last thing. It's a pity to be such a bad loser. Is it worth going mad for a petty theft, is it? I could not help but watch you coming out of the inn. Your gestures were sharp. Your face was pale due to your stifled anger, like all people of your kind. Were you never taught in your rascal school that fury clouds the mind? 
So accept your defeat. Perhaps this flavor will not be so bitter once you have tasted it. I would like to go on writing, but I have duties. It is with regret that I drop my feather here. Yours faithfully, Larsen. Hello. Ma'am, <sighs> I'm just going to steal your healing items for my own personal benefit. The claw, the bone setter. I can heal you of herpes, syphilis, adulterated wine, a blood which turns into fat, digestive problems, the trots, the evil eye, glooms, light burnings, club feet, hair lips, and other malformations caused by marriage to close relatives, cross-eyed people, loose women, and Veruca. Uh, well, I mean, what malformations are caused by marriage to cross-eyed people or loose women? I don't know, but uh, malformations caused by marriage to Veruca is... is very strange. I didn't think I didn't think a marriage to a Baruka was legal. Uh, I can also find children kidnapped by fairies with my pendulum. Want to see me? Make an appointment with my secretary, La Dominique. The Claude thanks you very much. Oh, this must be the secretary. Oh. Ah, we're... Okay. That's another house we could break into. Well, I guess I didn't need to... So stop and hello. Speed version, thank you. Now, will she wake up if I... Deal with the banner. No. Banished. The banner has been banished. <laughs> Shall never commit evil again. Guy's standing in a weird spot. Who's there? Hello. I think he's very attentive. Oh, it sounds like there's mechanism security in here. Oh yes, and it sees through the door. The slinging pleasure armory. Okay, this is dark enough right here that we can sit here and pick the lock without the yeah, camera seeing us. But we'll have to be careful once we get inside. It's very bright in there. Okay, what arrows? I don't know if it'll react if it sees the safe open. Probably not, right? One can never tell with these things. They're strange foreign devices. Oops, not quite close enough. Yeah. You know, still stand in the shadow and pick the lock, thankfully. Scouting orb. Flash bomb, thank you. Some mines and some flash mines, okay. I guess useful, not quite what I would choose. Flash mines in particular are really redundant. You saw nothing, you big spinny hunk of metal. Okay, let's uh, see who's in this house. See, this, I do comment on this occasionally. Like, that is a poor high window. Oh, kind of spotted me there. Uh, and if that was at the same level as this piece of wood, it would be hard. It would sometimes be hard to get into. It's got a slight step up, so it actually makes it uh, trivial. And reliable to get into. It's a weird quirk of the engine, but that's... Uh, a useful one as a designer to put your 
small windows if you must have them at a slight step up. Uh, something I wish I'd known sooner because uh, if you make, try to make it big enough for Garrett to actually fit, like four and a half to five, it's a bit reliably it's got to be I think above four and a half, I don't remember the number exactly. But uh, if you do it enough, so it's uh, just just make it tall as a library, you end up with very tall passages, which feel almost big enough to just walk into. So it's also bad. I see that you've got rocks from the basement before, so they blocked up the basement. Fair enough. So try and stop it happening again. Well, we are going in the other way. Excuse me. Thank you. I want to jump upwards. And then let's get out of its way then. It's a little strange. They have a brand new safe. Hello? Brothers, let us stand together! Say no to the tyrant. He starves us, smashes us, wrenches our health, and now hopes away from us. We can barely feed our families. Nothing is left since that monster's henchman came and stripped everything from us. This despot won't even discuss a reduction in these outrageous taxes. We've had enough. We must say no. Brothers, unity is strength. Join together and let's make ourselves heard by this tyrant. Let's shout out our wrath. We'll stay in front of the gates of these warehouses where he's keeping our possessions until he meets with us. Tomorrow there is a meeting at 11 o'clock in this place in order to check out the latest issues. Remember, no to the tyrant, no to Delaray. CSAF President, Citizen Shopkeepers Association Federation. I thought it would be like Citizen Shopkeepers Against Fuckers, but no. I mean, I presume they are, that's the whole point of their association here. Look, let's go back on the table. Why, why, Garrett, why do you want not want to put a piece of paper on the table? Look. I mean, you've got long arms to reach that far. Fair enough. You are. I'm going to get a job for you. Gold, total 523. Is this where the uh, thief came in last time? Whoops, quietly. Dr. Leclerc welcomes you to the extractions. Father and son for five generations. That's right, from the dentist. Fear not, I guarantee you. No pain, no scream. One tooth, ten cents. Special offer, five teeth plus one. Three molar, 35 cents. Also try our special offer, the Lasting Diamond Bright Formula. Eat away decay before it eats your teeth away. Hurry, for three weeks only, for the ridiculous price of only 12 gold coins and 999 cents, no more tooth decay or rotten teeth. Instead you'll have a wonderful Electrum set of false teeth made by the mechanists. You want more? Dr. Clerk will give you free cleaning product for one month. Say no to Stump, say yes to Smile. He's a hell of a doctor, Dr. Clerk. He's terrific. He's full of guile. No, bile? No, uh, um... What rhymes with smile? That would be uh, a positive association for a doctor. I'm not sure. Hmm. No pain, no screams, huh? Eh? Does he, uh... He needs change to hold his patients down. It's a very, you know, positive sign. They're very comfortable restraints. He makes sure they're only the most comfortable. And the gags to stop the screams. Made of the finest silk weave. Only the best for the patients of Dr. Leclerc. Now, well, he heard something, but he's not searching, so. I just wonder if this is the guy we. Yeah, yeah okay. We do not really want to come out of this door. Well, I mean, unless I want to. Okay, there's nothing behind here. So I want to bonk, you know, bonk this guy on the head too, but I think I'm happy enough leaving him alone. So he's guarding the dentist, presumably because this is where the thief broke in before, right? I see he came in this way. Just to make sure nobody breaks into the dentist again. 
Or maybe he's guarding it because of this association. And that they would want to um, try and be sure that nobody was uh, going to steal their goods. Well, there's some bad news for them. There's only one master thief in this town, and it is not Sui, it is not Larsen, it is Le Garret. Le Garret. Okay. Oh no, there's that door. I, want to, I do want to get in that door. Means, which does mean bonking this guy on the head. Alright, well he can be guarding the, the dentist. Well, you know what? He can be a passed out patient for the dentist. Even though it's not his blood, they won't know that. They don't have the ability to test that. There we are. Nothing behind there, is there? I don't think so. That's Fouquet's butcher shop. The tastiest burnt meat in the region. Okay. Ooh. Another camera. Ah, uh, that's is that a noisy floor? It feels like it might be a noisy floor. That's not good. Is there a light switch? No. Are we gonna have to pick the lock on that? Maybe we can find a key. Greengrocers. I couldn't get in. And, and green and green and bread. Bread grocers. Is that, is that a word? I feel a lot they've got a connecting uh, door to the, the jewels, but um all right, this is this one. Okay. Oh they do have an upstairs. Ah, yes, this is a green grocer, so it's closed due to bereavement. Alright, because the seat came down the chimney. Oh, I suppose there's nothing left to steal up here. I'm surprised they still had fresh produce. I mean, I hope it's fresh, I'm planning to eat it. too bright there. Let's see if we can't find a key upstairs. I don't know if I can pick that lock otherwise. Key to your display case. You don't seem to be carrying it on you. Perhaps you keep it in a more secure room. Keep a key behind the locked door. That would be appropriate, would it not? No, this is just another shop. Oh! How did I not see this ladder here? Okay, that's the uh, dentists. I mean, I guess they all have these adjoining passages. For some reason. The right, difficulty here is that I can't see where the camera is, so I'm just going to have to. Uh, Okay. Yes, I'm gonna have to pick the lock, okay? No? Okay, I'm going to have to find a key then.
The key's not here. I mean, double check again up here. There's like a key lying on the floor, on the windowsill, around the beds, behind the shelf, under the shelf, in the fireplace, in the chimney now. I mean, this is the wrong house, but you know. Since this one is closed, it would make a good uh, hiding place, right? Look again upstairs. <sighs> Ma'am, could you possibly snore a bit less? Perhaps you could talk in your sleep? Mumble about how you're worried that the key might get stolen. Mumble about, no, it'll be safe if I left it at, you know, and and mumble exactly where it is. But, no, don't mumble where it is. Say, say loud and clear where it is so I can hear it without having to decipher your mumblings. Uh, it's not going to be in here. Hmm. I don't think it's going to be up here either, but... Well, that's inconvenient. I've got two keys, but obviously neither of them are going to be the one for the display case. Let me check this window. Is someone there? Sleep. Sorry for waking you, ma'am. Not sorry for putting you to sleep again. She's got a blue dress, but her carrying out a compass a red dress. It's kind of funny. It's uh, just an oversight. I'm going to have to double check that I can't pick it, but... Uh... Yeah. Whoops. Well, okay. It's oh, a guard. All oh, right, I came in here. This is, uh, I haven't been in this guard tower, have I? Maybe, maybe I have. Hmm. Yes, I have. Okay. Well, that's the market square. Now I can't take notes. What's this? Oh, all I've got is the, uh, the papyrus. No, not that. This one. Got that, uh, he's east side of town in Surges near the abandoned district. Okay. Been here? This looks kind of familiar. No, I haven't been here. Did you hear that? Treachery! Oh, those cops are. Uh... Treachery. It's a door, ma'am. Not, not any kind of tree. Oh, wait, isn't? Someone help me light this thing. Didn't, didn't I see these guys before? You think you can hide from me? All right. Well, okay. So, how am I supposed to see what I'm doing? The idea is that you're not supposed to see. That's the whole reason I'm doing that. Reasonable number of water arrows now. Bad day for you, looks like. Oh shit. I've got the 
something for ya. Yeah, you got a pain. <laughs> See how you look as a porcupine. Uh, I was never good at acting. Okay. She did get one arrow into me, but that's uh, that's fine. We have we have robbed the green grocer. So we can eat carrots. We can eat bread. Yeah. All better. Unfortunately, there's someone else got spooked by something. Hmm, maybe it was rats. Rats could be a bit of meat back then. Oh, I one of their two interlocutors here. Reacting to. Help! He's after me. These people are incredibly. Like, did he actually uh, see me there? Because he did. He fled. It's like he saw me when I'm in almost full darkness. He should not have been able to see me. This is your last chance. There's a murderer in with us. Trust no one. Guards! There's an intruder here. All right, all right. These, these torches. Careful. There's a killer up there. You did not see a body. Maybe you saw my blood. The murderer was one of the boys in blue, or rather, girls in blue. Hmm. That's not having the effect I wanted over here. I thought that was. Hey, can someone come and relight this dreadful thing? I thought that was doing the light here. Well, maybe it was. Can't see. Can't get an angle from here. I saw him. There's a strange the man thief. over here. Come I saw him. him. Hmm. Okay. Well, you know what? While they're all preoccupied, let's move on. We would get in. Some other way. Oh, we're back. Yeah, right. We've gone right round again. Oh, did you see me, man? Ah! You weren't supposed to have seen me. You can go to the private school. Spooked at me closing the door. Oh. <gasps> you can all sleep. It's the best thing for everyone. It's alright, it's well past your bedtime. Here? I shot an arrow over there to distract you. Tell me I wasted it? People, get out of my way. There's too many of you here. 
Stay to, stay to one side. Stay in your lane. Do I waste waste another one arrow? Probably not. Let's spend one here. Hammerites? Crypts? What are the police doing guarding a hammerite crypt? <sighs> Can someone help me light this thing? Right. Normally I don't like to play clean up. But uh, it does feel more justified. Hello. Oh, this is not, this is the convent. Right, they're not guarding the, it's not, it's not a crypt per se. However, that is a banner. We have bands then. So, we will disband it. won't see my business a second time. <clears throat> Stuff. Ooh, a library. Always love a good library. Any any loot? Any secret books? Doesn't look like the sort of library that would hold secret books. Also doesn't look like the sort that would have any loot. Hmm. What's that sound? Oh, noises. Someone should look into that. Still quite light in here. Although I guess we're okay here. Try not to disturb these ladies any further. Let's go upstairs. Oh, we were upstairs. Let's go up the ladder. To the upper upstairs. <laughs> up ladders. Alright, that's the student's accommodation, I guess. Hi, Dewdrop. Oh, we could go put Dewdrop in the cradle, but I don't remember who, who, who had the cradle. I surrender. No need, no need for uh, alarm. Hello. Oh, I could have got in this way. I see. Hello. I also see. courtyard doesn't yes I have yes I have <laughs> I feel like maybe yeah there's no sound up here this is out of bounds all right not that kind of mission
Well, side door, I suppose. That would be the front door. Okay, so I think... Alright, that's the lever control. Yeah, this is this yard. And this just takes me back to the inn that I started at, right? Wait. Oh, I was gonna say, isn't that the green grocers? No, that's the that was uh, Slussery's place. All oh, right, I left that door open as a reminder that there's maybe a uh, passage behind the fireplace that I couldn't find. All right, the other door that I wanted as a reminder. Oh, the other the other door I need to remember is the jewelers. Because the jeweler has valuable loot that we have not managed to purloin. Or valuable loins that we have not managed to pollute. Or something. So. Northern gate, right? Wait, is this is the northern part of town, is it not? Am I, am I getting turned about again? I mean, yes, but... Oh, I'm just running in a circle there. How about a compass? Thank you. Right. Uh, well, that's northern. the Northern District. And where's where's that area? Why do I feel so lost? Confused, alone, losing the plot. Oh man. I'm just going around in circles. Okay, well, where does this take me? Let me, let me actually see. Well, wasn't I just, wasn't I just here? Yes. Oh, it's uh, the Puyu and a couple of other yards. Oh, is this the gate to Northern Districts? I don't see a lockbox. No, 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 this is where I started. What does he react to? Just make one mistake. I have a foggiest idea. What was that? Let's try to stay well away from them then. Um hmm. Well, apologies uh, for getting very lost, but uh, I guess it happens sometimes. Because I came from here. Maybe the Northern Districts. Oh, Archer friend, let's cut through the dark passage that allows us to perhaps avoid conflict. Ah, yes, we can come around here. This is this is it, right? All right. I want to go around where he is, but uh, yes, that's, that's where we need to go, right? Eastern part of town. I guess northeastern. At least he's going away again. Uh, 
Let's go swim. Go for a swim in the water, shall we? Try not to drown again. There was more water than I expected. That's fine. It's not a threatening amount of water, just a slightly unexpected amount. Police station? If you were hiding in a cell, man. Well, I could let you guys out. Where's that key? It doesn't lock that one. There we are. Get rid of that evil, evil light. You know what? Since we can't lock this one, let's leave it open. Put the guards in this one. We can lock them in. Always fun. Right, I'm gonna leave that open in case I need a quick getaway as well. We'll free these people once we're done with the police, I think. Is this just a lockup? Not the whole police station. Oh. No, I guess I'm thinking this was now an exterior wall, this red brick. I guess it's not. Wow, it's got windows. Jailhouse. Like, it's strange to have windows looking in on an interior room. Oh, this is going to be a problem. <clears throat> Electric lights and everything. I could flash them. I've got two flash mines, but there's also a guard wandering around upstairs there. That would be a potential. Would also potentially hear the flash mine, right? Hmm. I could try and find a way around. Another way in. I don't know, we're here now, let's just do it. Come on, buddy. I hear you there. I'm not fooling around. One peep out of you and that's it! Don't worry, I'll find you! I think they caught oh, sight of something, but they're not sure what. Okay. Two more deliveries. I guess the flash mine's kind of useful. Flash mine would have been better, you know, just toss it, but... Uh, the nice thing about the flash mine is I don't feel a need to hang on to it for later, so it's like, well... I just get a chance to use it, then why not just spend it? This is never something I need in an emergency. Although I guess that's not strictly true either. I'm sure I used one in an emergency situation fairly recently in a different mission. Okay, we've got guards outside. Let's. What's happening here? Nothing? No, there's something here. Hmm. Odd.
Oh, that's just where I came from. What's this way then? More offices and another way upstairs. Okay. Weekly report. Till this day, we have no further leads about Larsen. The public notices we distributed were fruitless and vegetableless. This nasty character is still on the loose. Recently, our informer, Four Eyes, told us where one of Larsen and his gang's lairs could be. One dark night, Four Eyes says he saw one of the villains going through a small hole dug in the west walls behind the market. Aha, right. I have been there. And true, that was one of his gang's lairs. As soon as our troopers come back from their night watch, I'll send some men there. I'm sure they'll enjoy chasing some rascals instead of beggars to end their night. They'll have a good night's sleep after that. No news either about the other villain, Garrett. My lad erupted with a lot of fuss into the Goldilocks Inn, but the wanker had already sensed that the wind was changing and packed up and left. We questioned the Lady Keeper, but it seems she didn't know anything. We took her back to our quiet headquarters for further questioning. Yes, my lads laughed good when they read the inside. Goldilocks and her bear cubs. Ugh. The old hag didn't pay attention that a big grizzly was hidden behind her bear cubs. Apart from that, everything is fine. Nothing more to report. We intercepted a guy who was hanging around our facility. The man is completely stupid. One of the mechanists from the first floor was praying and he caught him in the act of stealing his purse. He got straight to the point. The mechanist had just enough time to shout, Oh, builder! And then he smashed the villain's head mightily. The guy tried to flee, but with a bum leg and a brain that's gone to mush, he can't go far. Moreover, he was carrying a heavy bag that must have weighed over a hundred pounds. When we opened it, we saw all kinds of stuff. Mines, water arrows, bite arrows, and some kind of cow pat arrows. What are they used for? There were strange flashing balls that she threw on the floor. Kirk exploded one of these right in his own face and couldn't see a bloody thing for hours. Well, there were plenty of those thingamajigs, and we don't know what most of them were for. He must have been sick in the head to want to get inside a secure facility like this one and to attack the mechanist with a gimpy leg. Some people act in a way that defies common sense. We don't know much more by now. The mechanists wanted to keep him for questioning. I have a strong feeling we won't see this wanker in our cells. Captain J.T. Parker. It's your official report? Your <laughs> language is less than official, but... Uh, I'm not your mother, or your superior officer. As long as you're writing about where I can find useful tools, that's all I ask for. Oh, does the mechanists share the same building, do they? Get rid of the filthy body, which is in the interrogation room. Edward Piney, also known as La Souris, is dead. The builder hath braved his insults. I'll pull one out for the little mouse. Let's see he was good. With a good collection of loot, but not uh, apparently good at the escaping of the hammers, uh, maces, mechanist maces. Interrogation room. Now oh, there's more guards. By the sound of it, not coming this way. Hello. Flares. What do we get? Flares. Um, invisibility potion. Maybe a healing potion, I'm not sure. Three flash bombs. Okay, and we got some water arrows, uh, some more broadheads. Seems to be it. Alright. Well, I will not complain about uh, some equipment like that. It's very useful. This enormous crate doesn't seem to have any. It seems to be pretty firmly sealed up. those doors in a minute. Once I get a better sense of trolls. Ah, this is one of those doors. Okay, he's gonna go into the dungeon now. No, he's coming in here. Okay. Hmm. 
Let's pee though. Northeast access key, okay. Good, good, good. Good to know that he goes around in a circle too, because. <laughs> That's a noisy table. Although, does he, come, he comes out of the store, doesn't he? Well, first I have some banners to attend to, but I also need to know where this guy is patrolling from. Right, he just crosses the hallway. Busy for a moment. Any valuables in here? Oh, can I cut these little banners? I know I'm cutting it fine for time. But as long as I can, I should. complained about them, but he didn't seem to get too bothered. I knocked open it in my face. Whoops, wrong, wrong button there. I guess that's the valuables that uh, Masuri was carrying. Just a boiler, yes. Or Two people there? Northeast town access. Okay, well, I don't want to go out there just yet. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any valuables in here. Yes, yes. Admire Karras. Does he have a purse on his... Oh, he does have a purse. Okay. <coughs> that will do nicely. Okay, well, I guess... Getting to a new part of town is always good. Feels like maybe it's a great time to end the episode as well. So we'll come and explore this area next time. I'll see you then.